What is going on YouTube? Joe here with Color Nation Media bringing you yet another episode of Pokemon X and Y Battle Spot Live. Today's episode is number 48 and coming into today's episode we are sitting nice and pretty at a 20 game differential 56 and 36 after a double loss yesterday in the uh, second video and going one and one in the first video so we went one and three um, in both videos yesterday. That was not that was not fun. We're bringing the same team today, though. And before we get into the challenges, just would like to remind you guys that as long as this video reaches that magical number of 60 likes, I will continue to bring you these lovely daily double Wi-Fi battle uploads and all of that fun stuff. Now, like I said, hopefully today we can get some 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 more uh, success, I guess, or at least uh, just split and go one and one. That would be okay too, as long as we don't get a double loss. We do have the Sun Team. I've got the Nine Tails, the Charizard Y, Shiftry, Sawsbuck, you know, Arcanine, the whole the whole bit, and then randomly the wacky uh, Scarfed Electivire set, which is kind of weird. Scarfed Mix Electivire, very very strange, uh, but it basically is just in the team to help cover some weaknesses and that kind of stuff uh, because. The team doesn't synergize very well as a 6v6 team. It's okay on Battle Spot just because um, it's, it, they're able to cover each other's weaknesses with coverage moves and that kind of stuff. But anyway, I'm kind of uh, babbling here. Our opponent is bringing an extreme tryhard team with Greninja, Talonflame, Snorlax, uh, Aegislash, Mega Kangaskhan, and Ferrothorn. So hopefully uh, we can get a victory on this person because I love beating tryhards. It's so much fun. So much fun. So he's probably going to bring... Let's see. I'm going to predict the Mega Kangaskhan obviously is going to be coming. I'm going to say the Talonflame as well, and then I don't know. It could be... It's a toss-up between all the other Pokemon. Ferrothorn most likely is not going to be showing up in this battle, just because um, obviously it's not going to handle the Sun very well at all. And pretty much all of my Pokemon have a move that can kill it, so... Yeah, the Ferrothorn's probably not going to see any action in this battle. Maybe Greninja. That might be a good bet. And even Snorlax. Even Snorlax would do well. So I would I would predict Aegislash and Ferrothorn to sit this one out and to be a toss-up between Snorlax and Greninja. I'm just babbling again. I feel like I'm doing that a lot today. I don't know what's going on. All right, so uh, our opponent's going to lead off with the Talonflame as we lead off with the Arcanine. So we're going to get the Intimidate off, which is great. And I'm really not afraid of this thing. Arcanine has proven time and time again that it can take on Talonflames. Uh, my Arcanine will almost always beat Talonflame. That's just what it is. Not by much, and it takes a lot of damage, but it does usually come out on top with the Extreme Speed, Rocky Helmet, Intimidate, all that stuff. So he's either going to go for the Swords Dance here or just go for the, um, the Brave Bird. I'm going to go for the Extreme Speed, get some damage off on this thing. Does okay, maybe about 30%. He's going to go straight for the Brave Bird, so that's definitely not going to kill at minus one. And he's going to take Recoil from that, as you can see, and the Rocky Helmet damage as well. So that's just, yeah, that's about in killing range for Extreme Speed. I might end up going down to another Brave Bird here, depending on min-max roll. Let's see. Another Extreme Speed. And nope, it's just going to straight up kill this Talonflame. So Arcanine, again, proving to be the Talonflame killer. You do not need a Rock-type, you just need Arcanine. That's what it is. So let's see what he brings out next. He's going to bring out the Mega Kangaskhan next. So I am running max speed. Um, part of me wants to just stay in and go for the close combat. He's probably just going to fake out. So let's just go for the close combat. There's no reason to do anything else here at this point. Uh, because if he wants to go for the fake out, that might not even kill. And uh, he's going to take the Rocky Helmet damage and all that stuff. So let's just let's do that. There's the Mega Evolution, the Mega Kangaskhan in all of its its glory. Goes for the Rock Slide and misses. Wow. And he's going to get hit with a close combat here. And that just straight up kills, really? Oh, it's a crit. Okay, he got hacked unbelievably right there. A crit close combat after missed Rock Slide. That is ridiculous. Not to say that uh, he didn't deserve it for using the team that he brought, but still, I mean, they never want to see that. You never want to see that much hacks. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. I would be furious if I was him, so... I would not be surprised if he just forfeited here, honestly. He doesn't look like he's going to, though. We're just going to go for the extreme speed to get some damage on this thing. There's the Hydro Pump. So I was expecting some kind of water type move. It doesn't really matter what he goes for here, but I guess, you know, in case... I switched or something. I do have a lot of uh, fire types on my team. So the Arcanine goes down to that. The Greninja is going to reveal its life orb. 
So that is cool because he might just end up killing himself. Which would be fantastic. We're going to go into Nine Tails here. I do have Sawsbuck, but I'm going to save that, obviously. Because, um, yeah, Greninja could obviously take out the Nine Tails here with Hydro Pumps. I know it's going to be in the sun, and I am specially defensive. But, that being said, he could go for the Dark Pulses here to try to get flinches. No, he's just going to go for the Hydro Pump. I'm going for the Flamethrower just to get damage on this thing. And that is not even going to be a 2 hit KO. Not even going to be a 2-8 KO. So there's the Flamethrower. I don't think that's going to kill. It's in the sun. No, nope, he's going to barely survive that. So he's going to die to his own Life Orb due to a Hydro Pump right here. And, oh, no, he's going to miss the Hydro Pump. Wow, this person got hacked unbelievably. An un unbelievable amount of hacks. Ridiculous, 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 ridiculous. I guess that Hydro Pump miss didn't really matter, but still, it's kind of just the principle of, you know, they were just... The RNG was kind of just kicking him in the nuts when he was already down there, which is just, which is unfortunate. Which is a little bit unfortunate, but that is a victory for us. That brings our record up to 57 and 36. So we are at a 20 game, 21 game differential right now. It'll be 22 if we get a win, back down to 20 if we lose, obviously. Yes, I can indeed do first grade math. And uh, let's move on to the next battle. That actually uh, got my spirits up a little bit. But uh, the, the hacks was a little bit unreal in that match. A little bit unreal. So what I've noticed is that Shiftry hasn't done a lot of work on this team. Really hasn't. And it's not so much that Shiftry is bad or that it doesn't work on this team. But it's more that uh, the people that I've been up against, they just are bringing Pokemon that Shiftry doesn't really like. So this person has a very similar team. In fact, half of his team is the same as the one before. With Ferrothorn, which we will not see in this battle. And then Greninja and Talonflame. He also has Dragonite, Mawile, and Rotom Wash. So if I had to guess, I would say that Mawile and Ferrothorn are definitely going to be sitting this one out. Greninja and Rotom Wash will definitely be in this battle. And then, hmm, actually, either Greninja or Rotom Wash. And then probably Dragonite. And then, hmm, then the Talonflame. Yeah, the Talonflame has to be coming. Everybody always brings their Talonflame, because Talonflame destroys everything, pretty much. Pretty much. I'm going to go out on a limb here, though. I'm going to go out on a limb, and... Do I want to, though? Do I want to not bring the Arcanine? If I don't bring the Arcanine... Uh, I mean, I just... It's just that we fight Talonflames in every single battle, pretty much. So, Arcanine is my Talonflame killer, so it's like I have to bring it in every battle. I would like to give the rest of my team a shot, if you know what I'm saying. I'm going to bring the Electivire, though. I brought the Electivire because Brave Bird should not be able to kill. I know Electivire doesn't have the best defenses, but it should be able to live a resisted a Brave Bird and then uh, KO with a uh, Wild Charge. And if he wants to go for the Flame Charge, or not the Flame Charge, the Flare Blitz, I'm just going to outspeed and kill him. So that is interesting. That might be a nice surprise. We're leading off with the Electivire here against Rotom, and that is kind of bad because he's probably going to try to Willow me. That would be my guess. Um, am I afraid of the Willow? I feel like I am. I should be afraid of the Willow or the Hydro Pump. Because I have Charizard as well, and that's not going to like a Hydro Pump or basically any attacking move. I'm in a little bit of a tight spot here. Because Rotom Wash doesn't... Rotom Wash has a really weird typing. And it just, it kind of poops on my team a little bit. Like a small little poop. Like a not constipated poop. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm switching into the Saw's Buck here, predicting a Hydro Pump. He's going to go for the Confuse Ray. What? Confuse Ray? You're going to be that person? You're going to be begging for hacks right now? Um. Okay, so we're going to switch into the Charizard here. I bet you he's going to try to Willow me here. Confuse Ray and then Will-O-Wisp. I mean, that's kind of a bad combination, I would guess. Because then when I hit myself, it doesn't do as much because of my lowered attack. But I'm thinking that's what he's going to go for regardless. So we're going to switch into the Charizard here and hope that he doesn't go for any attacking move. But I really feel like that Will-O-Wisp is coming right now. So that's what we're going to do. And if that's the case, if he does Will-O-Me, we get that free switch. Then we can uh, get the Drought up, Mega Evolve, all that good stuff. And hit him with a Solar Beam unless he wants to switch, but that's a whole different story. In comes the Charizard, and there is the Willow, my friends, just as I thought. So we get the Charizard in for free, which is great, and we still haven't taken any damage, even though we're a couple turns in here. I really don't have any other play here but to go over the Solar Beam, 
I can't mess around with this, and it doesn't look like he's switching. So, uh, if he's not specially defensive, this is just going to straight up kill him. I mean, he has shown us a somewhat of a defensive um, moveset with Will-O-Wisp and Confuse Ray, so he might be, like, it's possible that he's bold nature and physically defensive. And that just straight up kills. Oh, because of a crit! So I don't know if that mattered. If he was specially defensive, maybe he could have lived that. I'm really not positive. I'm, I don't have a lot of experience using Charizard um, X or Y, to be honest, because they're OU Pokemon, and I don't use OU Pokemon a whole lot. Uh, at least I haven't this generation, so... I don't know. Somebody can calc that and tell me if that mattered, depending on, you know, what nature he was running and that kind of stuff. Because I don't know. In comes the Talonflame, and... I'm gonna say he wants to go for the Brave Bird right away. That would be my guess, right? He's probably banded. Most of them are. So we're gonna predict the Brave Bird and go into Electivire. Because he should be able to take a Brave Bird pretty well. I'm guessing. That might have been a really bad play. Let's let's see how this pans out here. If he goes for the, the Flare Blitz, I'm dead. He's gonna go for the Swords Dance. That is interesting. So he's not banded. He might be Life Orb. That is possible. That is very possible. Um... He's probably going to go for the Flare Blitz here. That seems like the obvious play. So we're going to... Wow, no, he doesn't. He goes for the Brave Bird. Really? It's a resisted hit. Is that just going to kill? It is going to kill. Wow, why did I stay in? That was stupid. I really screwed myself over that switch. That was really dumb. That was really dumb. I went for the Wild Charge there. And... Because if he went for the Flare Blitz, I would have outsped with my Scarf. But I guess... Um, yeah, that's the match. That is the match, because at plus two, he's going to kill Charizard, and he's going to kill uh, Sawsbuck, which are my two remaining Pokemon, in one hit with uh, plus two Brave Birds. It's just, uh, he's just going to spam the Brave Bird button, and there's nothing I can do about it, and that is why uh, it doesn't take a lot of skill to play with Talonflame. That is why you just spam the same attacks over and over and over again. But I will give this player credit, because he did uh, make a very good prediction Assuming that I could not kill him in one hit with uh, Charizard being out there and if I wanted to switch that he could still just kill everything with um, Brave Birds once he gets up to plus two. So he did um, out predict me slash outplay me there. So that's why I'm in this position and that's why uh, he's going to get the, the much deserved victory here and I'm going to get the loss. So it doesn't matter what we go for. I guess I'm just going to go for Roost in case I survive. We'll go for the Roost. On the off chance that I survive, I don't think there's even a chance. Nope! Down goes the Charizard, so we just get swept by this Talonflame. Uh, thankfully, it wasn't a 3-0, which is nice, I guess, but that's a loss for us, and that brings our record to 57-37. So, one win, one loss today. Tomorrow, I will be switching up the team a little bit, because this team really didn't do too, too well. And that's just because of the Pokemon that are running around on Battle Spot right now. Uh, unfortunately... So I, you need a little bit more of a, of a diverse team, I guess. You need things that are just better answers to Talonflame than Arcanine. I know Arcanine can beat Talonflame, but he takes so much damage in the process. Um, I really just, I needed to have like a rock type or something, but that is besides the point. Tomorrow we'll, we'll find something else to, to use. Maybe some Pokemon that I haven't used yet. I don't know. We'll figure something out. But thank you all very much for watching, as always. And do not forget to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it, because it does help out a lot. So I'll see you for tomorrow's episode, but until then, game on.